Well, Yanni, you know what? This is such a great cause. I know I have a ton of clothes in my closet that I can completely get rid of. Oh, yeah, I completely agree. Um, I don't know if I told you already this, but um, my other job is Banana Republic, so I have tons of clothes at home really? that I should be donating. Why actually. haven't you hooked me up with any deals or discounts yet, Yanni? You let me know. Just you let know me know. So. I'm going to smack you for that. But you know what? I have a ton of uh, coats and scarves that I actually uh -huh. think I should keep. After yesterday, it was all cold and rainy, so Josh, please tell me that we're looking at some better temperatures for the weekend. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put away any of your fall clothing just yet because we do have cool temperatures out there even right now. 56 here at the Auraria campus, and we're going to only see our high at 58 degrees, low not much better at 41 degrees, and we have winds out the east southeast at six miles per hour, and we still have cloudy conditions as the day progresses. We should be able to see those clouds start to break up as we move throughout the day. Speaking of which, our temperatures not going to get very warm at all today. Two o'clock, we're going to see our high at 57, and then there's our warmest part of the day at 58 degrees, and then the trend just keeps on going down as we move throughout the day today. Now, what should it be usually for this time of year? Well, Denver average high temperature is 65 degrees, so today we are lower than what we usually are. Our snow accumulation for the month of October is four inches. So uh, looking at the models, it looks like we might have a possibility towards the end of October sometime of when we should see a big snowstorm maybe hit the Denver metro area. We'll just have to see. Uh, our low temperature for this time of year average is 36. Precip is about one inch as well. We saw about half of that just yesterday night and we could see off and on today and maybe tomorrow morning and our records uh, much warmer and much colder for the lows than what we're expected to see. But tomorrow, warmer temperatures, 73 degrees for October 11th, going to be nice fall weather, a lot better than what today is, and our low is expected to be at 48 degrees, and we got winds out the east southeast at seven miles per hour, so a perfect day to go out and enjoy the fall-like temperatures. I'll have my extended forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you guys. Thank you, Joss. And have you noticed a recent loss of cell phone data? We'll tell you what's eating away that precious internet time after the break. Now joining us for Met Report weather is Josh Cozart. Thanks, Yanni. So we got some really nice temperatures for our Saturday Denver. We're going to see a high of 73, DIA 72, Boulder, exact same story as in Denver. And all across Colorado, we are going to see some nice fall-like temperatures. Uh, 60s pretty much all across the state of Colorado, even up in the high country. You may want to take a trip up there. I'm sure in the south, we got a few trees that still have some fall colors in them. As for the north, pretty much the snow has knocked them out because we saw a little bit of snow uh, 10,000 feet and above last night. Now for Sunday, things are going to change for us in the metro area. We got a cold front that's going to be approaching our area. It's going to drop our temperatures pretty much all across Colorado. Denver's going to see 60 degrees, DIA 56, Boulder at 58 degrees as well. And we could see some showers periodically throughout the day and also in the evening hours is when we should see the most significant amount of rainfall for Sunday, but nothing like what we saw on Friday. But let's take a look at what's causing all of this. We got this cold front. That's what moved through our area uh, Friday night, bringing us that moisture along with the uh, tropical storm Simon that moved up into our area, creating that kind of energy to create those heavy showers that last well into the night. Then we got this long stationary front that's moving all across the country, and that's really getting all those showers fired up. Places like Dallas, they're going to see quite a bit of rain, which they've already seen quite a bit this fall, and then on up to the eastern coast as well. Sunday, that stationary front basically just dissolves away, and it's just going to leave us with a few spotty showers, nothing like what they will see for Saturday. For our area, we got that cold front. That's going to be shifting just ever so slightly past Denver, and that's what's going to drop our temperatures a little bit and even give us some snow showers up in the high country. Uh, 10,000 feet above uh, should have some significant snow amounts anywhere up to close to a foot in the southern uh, area of Colorado. Let's take a look at our five-day forecast now. We got some nice temperatures for this week. 62 degrees for Monday with plenty of sunshine. That'll be nice after these gloomy days. Tuesday we hit 76 degrees, Wednesday 77, and then Thursday 
and Friday, we are back into the 60s with plenty of sunshine. So you can put away your umbrellas. You won't need them this week. You know, driving into the studio today, I mean, it mm -hmm. was nice and cool, and it was a nice change of things, so yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't mind the cool weather. Now. I am perfectly fine with the 90-degree days being gone. I'm, I'm yeah. okay with that. I, I just don't want the snow. It's safe mm -hmm. to say that fall is definitely here, along with all the pumpkin spice and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and speaking of pumpkins, uh, the nights are starting to get colder as well. If you've already got your jack-o'-lanterns carved, you might want to bring them oh, in overnight because yeah. mm -hmm. the freeze can sometimes in their life a little bit. Yeah. Thanks for the job. You're welcome. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we explore a haunted building right here on campus. We'll be right back.